Now, as I understand it, there's now a whole bunch of more combinations of effects you can do on this particular Cyber Twin. Absolutely. Uh, in addition to all the cool and wacky stomp box effects that we've put in here, we've also put in some combination effects, which are very useful for live performance. Indeed. So right now we got a vintage stack set up. We're going to go into our effects menu. It says effects none, and I'll show you the combinations here. We've got an overdrive stomp box with a tape echo, uh, the blacky mid boost mm -hmm. with a tape echo, octaver pedal, which is pre-gain, so it tracks properly with a tape echo. Uh, 60s fuzz with a delay, fuzz with a touch wah a la Garcia, fuzz with a pedal wah, touch wah with a delay, and probably my favorite, the pedal wah with the delay. Now you have the cyber foot controller hooked up, so you can just control the pedal wah with that. Oh, delicious. Let me check this out a little bit here. It sounds delicious. <laughs>Shane, one last thing we should talk about is probably what uh, lurks on the back panel of this amplifier that may be new to the kids. Okay, well, all of the great interface features that the original Cyber Twin had are present on the Cyber Twin SE. You can hook up your foot switches, expression pedals, MIDI foot controllers. Uh, for digital recording, we have an SP diff output. We've got headphones, so you can do silent practice. We've got XLR outputs with cabinet emulator circuitry for going out to the live PA board. We've got an effects loop here if you want to put in any external effects devices. And then we've added a couple of really important things. One being user accessible preamp tubes. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to take the amp apart to get to them. Uh, this is important to you for a couple reasons. First of all, you know, you drop your amp off the truck and break a tube, no problem. You just take it out and put another one in there. Um, also, some people enjoy experimenting with different brands of preamp tubes to see if they get a little different tone. They can put them in there really quickly. Um, and we've got a tube rattle prevention system installed on the tubes as well. Excellent. Another important feature of the new Cyber Twin SE is that you can disconnect the internal speakers, which I might add are premium 100 watt Celestians. Mm. But for silent recording at night, you could unplug them. Uh, you could also experiment with different cabinet options. A lot of people enjoy the closed back 412 stereo cabinet, such as our Showman 412S. You could use that. Other brands of 412 cabinets that have a stereo capability. You could even go out to two individual 8 ohm single 12 cabinets, spread them apart on the stage or even spread them over to different sides of your living room and you'll get huge stereo imagery bouncing back and forth. So great feature. Excellent. So some cool additions to the back of this rascal. Thanks. Well Shane, I've got to say that this amp is unbelievable. It was already unbelievable and now you just raised the roof with this rascal. So I want to thank you so much. And uh, I say we jam out a little bit, but first, you know, we'll segue out as we play some tunes. Mr. Gary Hoy is going to show you some of the things that he does with his Cyber Twin. But for now, we're going to rock out in the key of G in case you'd like to sing along. Come! <laughs> 